Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is warming up. Roots 20 top ranking fight number nine. We will have three by three minute rounds in the 65 kilogram category. Introducing our first fighter out of the blue corner, fighting for the Australian Combat Sports Academy Gym Victoria, trained by Philip Lai. He's had six fights, four wins, two losses, and one win by knockout. Braden Sam! His opponent fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 64.80 kilograms, fighting out of Eight Blade Warriors Jim Victoria, trained by Superboy and Dom Leon. He has had two fights and two losses. Out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, we have Martin Nguyen. Our referee for this fight will be Abbas the Golden Boy Amadi. Fighters may now seal the ring. Tail of the tape, 24 years old versus 28, 65 kilos again. Both guys came in well at clear of the mark. Interesting experience gap. Martin Nguyen uh, yet to record a win. Yes. Uh, two for two starts versus the six fights, four wins ledger for Brandon, Sa Brandon Sam. Excuse me. How do you feel? Kind of the uh, the winning experience will factor in here. Do you think uh, that could kind of uh, affect Martin's approach? Is that something that you as a trainer will look to? Or I'm guessing as, um, you know, obviously a super experienced corner there in the red corner. I'm guessing they they have faith in him from his amateur career. Yep. They they know they know what, what he's got. He just hasn't put it together as a pro yet. Hey, Red, Round Here we round go. One. We are underway. Big low kick. Can Started with leg that. kick to leg sure kick. You could hear that on the stream too. Into the inside. Have to be careful with your foot on those. Yes. Uh, don't want to send your foot flying into the point of a knee early in the fight. Nice cross to the body. I mean, Mark not looking out of place with his experience level. Even though he's de he's got haven't got the pro experience, he can throw them. Very good punch. It looks for a little catch and sweep off of the knee. A tricky maneuver if you can pull it off. Yes. Not impossible, not as common as a catch. But it does record. look good. <laughs> Beautiful timing of that leg kick there. The block was coming up, but it wasn't. Yeah. Wasn't blocked in time. A couple of nice pairs of bright ankle guards. In the yeah, it's very pretty. Nice switch kick. I, I'm a big fan of Braden Sam's kind of structure. I like the arch in his core. His guard's nice yes. and high. His foot position's good. Red charging forward. Braden has a very experienced corner as well. Of course, yeah. Phillip's been around for as long as I can remember. Another high work rate start. Red corner fainting a lot in different looks. Yeah. Kind of just shuts a nice sway back and chooses to kind of come back with a punch. Ends up in the clinch, just breaks, puts his, his glove across the face, lands one knee on the break. Got some good hands there. Yeah, it's kind of threading those hands through the attempted long card from Blue Corner really nicely. And there's another one of those switch kicks. And that could be the faith that the, uh, his trainer has in him, knowing that he has solid hands. Yeah. Maybe, you know, just working on that over time to get them working for him. Low kick for low kick to open that one. That, that switch body kick went very well. Yeah, very, very loud as well. Big slap. Yeah, good elbow on the break. Red corner calls, you 
got a target, but so want to see maybe a little bit less output, a little more focus on accuracy. Yes. Both boys, some good intelligence in there, picking yeah, their shots. Yeah, very much so. Not just throwing wildly. Good swing back, replying with two leg kicks in a row. He's favouring that leg kick. The two touch gloves, and that's the one. For one. In the front row behind the red corner there, we can see Joanne La, who will be fighting for a world title later tonight. Lexi Petrullius is also in the front row. Yeah, he's just over there behind the blue corner. Oh, cards here in the stands. Yeah. Thank you once again for joining us. Let's have a look at the replay. Low kick for low kick. I feel the blue corner probably landed with a little bit more impact in that exchange. Some nice, uh, uh, quite cheap punches landed for Martin. Right? Yeah, for sure. Looking to find his way around that guard. Just missing the timing a little bit there. A little bit. Mark on the wind. That could uh, be a part of the red corner's call for target. Yes, for Don't sure. Don't just throw at the guard because he is getting countered with that left kick at times. Yep. That is a great play against an aggressive puncher. He's also popping the counter inside the kick, which throws you off balance, moves your front leg out the way while you're trying to throw hands. They open leg kick for leg kick again, and a big one comes in from the blue corner. Gets the respect, big body kick. That's a nice kick for kick action. Yeah, really nice. I feel both sides somewhat reluctant to kind of commit to that clinch. They're both kind of obliging each other and just sort of pushing away. A little bit more preferential to elbowing at that close range. Martin's a different animal this round though. He is. Landing some aggressive shots, powerful shots. Nice little teep lens on the green guard. The boys just give each other a nod and adjust. Both boys very technical. Both landing some, some nice little tappy tappy shots. Nothing yep. super powerful in that little exchange. But there, once again, we've got Braden countering with that inside left leg kick. Yep. Martin has a success coming in behind those straight punches, especially that uh, shooting something up top and then throwing that cross to the body. Tends to get, seems to be getting the respect yes. against the rope. Just has to put, I would say, a more definitive score on the end of that. 100%, yeah. When I say a definitive score, perhaps a big body kick or knee. Some, something that moves his opponent. Yeah. Shows damage. Big leg, big check there. Kick straight into the knee. And that is the best way to make someone think twice about leg kicking. For sure. Again. Big low kick. And there's that punching offense. Seems to do the damage. Yeah. Sneaking through the gloves. Just a little bit out of range when he goes for it again. Crowd are really getting into this one. Clearly his tactic now is to start throwing them hands down. Nice body kick. I, I think... Bra Braden's got to think about his finishing position off of that, For that sure. body kick. Moving back though, using, once again, using his IQ, taking yep. the inside leg kick as, he, as he's going backwards, hooking the leg, taking the weight off of yep. Martin's front leg, taking the power out of his punches and making him lose balance. Braden landing big right hand there as a counter. Great against an opponent who is kind of exiting straight back. People kind of forget their guards. Yes, they do. On, on the end of exchanges. Something of a matter of not letting your opponent take a rest. Following yeah. on and, and landing a off scoring timing. shot. Yes. Throw, then throw again. Not quite enough time for a counter in between. Yeah. Catch them as they're trying to step back and take a breath. Re 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 get their bearing. This is quite possibly one of the best rounds I've seen from Martin. In the fights I've seen him of him. Right now.
right back is perfect. <laughs> just marches out to the center of the ring. Round three. Final round. Just three round to fight. Three by threes. Big hands there to open up from one. Mouth guard has fallen out. Straight back in. Who needs to wash it off? Let's get the action going. I haven't washed my mouth guard in about 15 years. There's that nice counter left kick in the back. Martin is relentless. <laughs> he is, isn't he? Catch the script doesn't quite find it. As we were talking about with the experience level, like the record, different yeah. records, maybe they, you know, they've got a bit of a longevity plan for Martin. Yeah. You know, to work on getting getting this sort of style happening for him over time. Because as this fight's going on, he's he's turning into that Moy Mutt style, that yeah. walk forward puncher. He's landing a lot more, getting caught a lot less. Wasn't even watching for that elbow. <laughs> Caution to the win. Nice catch and counter from Blue. Putting on his best rot tongue impersonation. That my is a my mate. Boy Mart style. Yeah. Showing how tough your chin is. Yeah. That's still got some good IQ to avoid that kick, that high kick. He, he got stung with a shot on the end of that exchange, though. He's definitely the fittest of the two. Yes. Braden, Braden looks a little bit more weathered, looks a little bit more tired. He does, yeah. Martin hasn't changed as the fight's gone on. His, his work rate's picked up. Only now hitting the midway point of this round, too. Big counter left hook there. Yeah, yeah, Martin's looking hook. a bit weathered. Maybe it's time for, for uh, Mitchell. Good right hand landed for Martin there. Martin needs to start hitting the body a little bit more. He has landed well to the he body has. a few times this round. And watch the way that he can just uh, swing uh, Brayden out of position. That's generally a show of fatigue. Yes. When you can, kind of on the back end of those punches, really disrupt their ring position, turn them off to the side. Yeah, for sure. But uh, Martin does appear to be fatiguing a little bit now, too. He's had, had a... They slowed down a little bit. Low kick versus Big low kick too. Yeah. I think we're looking at a couple more sore legs out of this one. Yeah, Final for sure. 30 seconds. Uh, Final 30 that seconds. Last, the last one that landed on, on uh, Martin seemed to actually hurt him a little bit. It slowed Martin's him down. right hand has been very successful. This landed a couple of good ones. Definitely his, his strongest round for the fight. Yeah. Even though he has slowed, his fitness is definitely there. He probably just wasted a few too many shots early, yeah. which used up his energy. Nice play back and counter punch. The crowd that was is super little war. into this one. Good little war, that one. <laughs> Joanne Lara is going nuts in the crowd. <laughs> Let's look at some of these replays from a absolutely insane round. Yes, for sure. Very, from very Martin. dominant from Martin. But Braden's staying there for that whole round as well. Still countering, still, yeah. still landing some great kicks. Just lots of hands thrown from Martin. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, what a fight. Your winner of fight number nine, out of the red corner, Martin Graham. There you have it, that massive work rate of hands. Yep. Obviously clocked up the points as the fight went on.